Ben. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it will take longer to accomplish your goal. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 112, NASDAQ off 42, SPs down 12, gold contract down $14, trading at 1,235 an ounce, silver down 70 cents at $17.78 an ounce, platinum down 29 bucks at 987 an ounce, copper down five pennies at 267 a pound, light sweet crude down a buck 16, trading at $52.67 a barrel. Notes, 10-year note down six ticks, 123.16. 30-year bond off nine ticks, 149.05. King dollar up 376 ticks, trading at 102.150. The yen, the euro is at 105, and the yen is trading at 114.37. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You got the, the spies pull back a buck 48. You broke topside yesterday, did 149 million shares. You pull back today, 64 million. Bottom line is that um, you get an ABC structure up inside the spies, inside the Dow Industrials. Um, we pull back out here today and, and inside the Dow, if we take a look at it, yeah, you get 901 million. You broke topside with the... Uh, one billion bottom line is that I suspect it wants to finish this ABC structure on the way up. NASDAQ composite, same setup in the composite. Now, the composite is going to get interesting is this. The composite uh, gave it up. Uh, when I say gave it up is that uh, bottom line is that you had broke topside yesterday, um, had volume behind the move, and then what ends up happening, you get right back inside the lower range today. Anything inside 5866 is inside the lower range. Uh, we take a look at this, and we put this, um, you did 2 billion shares. So it doesn't negate the ABC on the way up. What it does do is it makes a, a complex ABC. And what that means is that you took out the B point, you took it out with volume, you came back inside the B with lighter volume. Now it's going to say, can you make it again? That's what it's, you know, so we'll see if that shakes out. The NDX100, the three Qs, also... Um, is close to getting back inside its lower range. 13070 would be the number. Uh, you're at 13078 right now. Uh, we had broken the top side yesterday uh, with 25 million. You're back today with 19 million. The small caps, let's go look at those small caps. So uh, the IWM, and this was the leader on the way down out here today. Uh, small caps come back with 25 million shares, and they're, they're deep inside the lower range. Uh, anything under 140.32 is saying, hey, it's going to go after this uh, 137 again. And if you get juice at 137, you know, it can be down to the 133.17 uh, mark. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract, folks, trading at a price point uh, down $14.40. You've done 262,000 contracts. Uh, we're coming into a Friday, so this is going to be an intense Friday inside the metals market, no doubt, because what we have had is that, you know, gold's only pulled back from uh, 1264 down to 1231, but yet the equities have pulled back a lot more than that. I mean, the, the run was extraordinary, but this pullback uh, is just as bad. Uh, well, is bad. Um, the uh, gold having a hard time uh, taking gold south. Uh, what they did out here today, they got uh, silver. Silver is the psycho uh, cousin of gold. There's no two ways about that. Uh, S I K seven. So what we had in the silver, what we had in the silver market out here, is that uh, there is S I K. Silver uh, comes down. It comes down hard. We uh, that's that's a big number. So intraday. Yeah, it just continued lower. That's the bottom line. Once, once the selling started, it continued lower. Uh, silver went from a price point of uh, 1848. You're at uh, 1780. And 
you know, we'll see what type of support we're going to have at that 1740 mark. That's uh, we had broken topside on the 31st. That's when we went from uh, 1718 to 1770 in this contract. Notes, the 10 year note. Now, th we have some major divergence here, and this is what it is the 10 year note, the 30 year bond, both of them did not break their swing points, their lowest swing points. Um, we got to 123.11. You closed at 123.17. You did 1.2 million contracts. That's very light uh, for the 10 year. Uh, 10 year out here, we can take a look at it on. Tuesday, we did 1.8 million on the way down. Yesterday, did 1.6. Today, did 1.2. Um, you know, if we go take a look at the TLT, what you're going to see, that's the 20-year bond fund. You're going to see that that also held its lowest swing point of 118.65. You got to 118.61. Um, bottom line is it closed out at 119.04. You know, it's like, okay, man, uh, there's buyers here. Uh, you go to the 30-year, we take a look at the 30-year, what you have with the 30-year, 30 30-year 30 got to 150 low, uh, the swing point is 149.16, that's another half a point down, didn't make it, rejected it, you at 150.12, King Dollar, and what's it all about with King Dollar, well, let's take a look at it, so King Dollar uh, going into its downdraft from the 5th as well as the 11th of January, uh, you did volume of 29,000 contracts. That's going into the 71,000 contracts. And 10, we're at 102.40. So bottom line is that uh, that is still saying that you can actually test the 102.500. We got to 102.270 today. The 102.500 level is the high of the downdraft that was out here on January 5th. You know, so for two different things that end up ha happening. You need higher volume and uh, we need the price. You know, we'll see whether we, we get that. Uh, what we will get is that you had Janet Yellen speaking tomorrow. Uh, the Fed funds rate uh, for March uh, goes like this. Uh, this was at uh, last Thursday. It was at 34%. It's at 90%. So bottom line, you can expect that uh, March 15th, more than likely you're going to get 25 basis points hike. You stay right there, folks. We're going to be having our man, Mr. Bob Archer, the CEO of Great Panther Silver on. He's going to walk us through what's happening with Great Panther Silver. We're going to be right back. TFNN has just launched a special event in Tampa with Tom O'Brien taking place March 18th, sponsored by Nadex. Tom O'Brien will be presenting two workshops for a combined two and a half hours of education, bisecting and dissecting his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. March 18th kicks off with a continental breakfast as we get everyone checked in, and that is followed by two 75-minute workshops with Tom O'Brien. The first workshop from 8.45 until 10 a.m. will cover quality volume, cause and effect, and ABC structures, and the second workshop from 10.15 until 11.30 a.m. will cover swing points, testing, and the Tiger Gartley. Tom will then wrap things up with a question and answer session, which will be followed by a Tiger luncheon social on the rooftop of the Westin Hotel. The best part is that it's all free, but you must register to attend. Visit the front page of TFNN.com for all the details and to sign up today, and we hope to see you in Tampa on March 18th.